Hello dear students, in this class we will see about another new topic, another new topic. Here, all of you are familiar with the certain examples. Now I take, this is calorimeter, this is calorimeter. When I add some add water to this calorimeter, this is a calorimeter. When I add some water to this calorimeter, when I add water to this calorimeter, the water level is increases in this calorimeter. The water level is increases in this calorimeter. Here, when certain amount of heat is supplied to this system, certain amount of heat is supplied to this system, the internal energy of this system is increases. The internal energy of this system is increases and temperature is also increases that temperature is measured by using the thermometer that temperature is measured by using the thermometer here initially this calorimeter is empty when i add some water to this calorimeter here the water level is increases in this calorimeter in the second case when i supply the certain amount of heat to this system the internal energy of this system is increases so that the temperature of this calorimeter is increases that is measured by the thermometer like that suppose if i consider a conductor this is the conductor conductor means your material which can flow easily through the electric charge the material which is allowed to flow the charge easily are called conductors metals are called good conductors metals are called good conductors when i add certain amount of charge to this conductor when i add certain amount of charge to this conductor its potential is increases its potential is increases like when the water is added to the calorimeter its water level is increases when the heat supplied to the system its temperature is increases like that when I add charge to this conductor, conductor means a material which allow to flow the charge, which allow to flow the charge is called conductor. When I add certain charge to this conductor, its potential is increases. Its potential is increases. But here, in between two conductors, in between two conductors, the insulator is inserted. In between two conductors, the insulator is in, in, inserted. Now I consider two conductor. This is the conductor A and this is another conductor B. Conductor means a material which is allowed to flow the electric charge. Good conductor or metals are the good conductors of electricity. But here, in between these two conductors, the insulator is inserted. The insulator is inserted. Insulator means the material which does not allow to flow the electric charge like plastic, wood, plastic, wood, paper. These are the examples for insulators or rubber. That type of material sort does not allow to flow the electric charges through it. But two conductors separated through a certain insulators. These are the two conductors. This is the conductor A and this is the conductor B. These two conductors separated by an insulator or separated by a dielectric medium. In the last class, already have discussed about what is dielectrics and types of dielectrics and polarization and the strength of the polarization, definition of polarization. Here, the two conductors separated by a dielectric medium or small dielectric medium or two conductors separated by an insulator then it is called capacitor then it is called capacitor dear students today i am going to start the new topic in unit 2 chapter number 4 that is capacitor and capacitors Capacitor and capacitors. Capacitance. Capacitor and 
capacitors. The first concept in this topic is that is capacitance of a conductor. Capacitance of a conductor. Conductor means the material which is easily the material which allows the electric charge through them are called conductors. याव वस्तु तम्मा मूल का विद्युत तरना प्रवेश से लुटता हो अंतह वस्तु करना वेदन तक रहती हुई वाहक है अदर इन अवेल इंग्लिश में लेदन तक रहती हुई कंडक्टर यो द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए कंडक्टर कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए कंडक्टर यो दिस इज़ द कंडक्टर व्हेन आई ऐड सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज टू दिस कंडक्टर चार्ज if I add large amount of charge, the potential is also large. If I add small amount of charge, the potential is also very less. Here, capacitance of a cap conductor. Capacitance of a conductor means, suppose consider Q is the charge. Q is the charge. Q amount of charge is added to the conductor. This is the conductor. Q amount of charge is added to the conductor. The potential is rises in this conductor. Potential is rises in this conductor. Therefore, the Q is directly proportional to its potential. The amount of charge is added to this conductor. When I amount of certain charge to this conductor, its potential is rises. Therefore, the charge is directly proportional to its potential. Charge is directly proportional to its potential or Q is equal to C into P. Here C is the constant. Here C is the constant of capacitance. C is the constant of capacitance. Therefore C is equal to Q divided by P. C is equal to Q divided by P. C means this is the capacitance of a conductor. Capacitance of a conductor. Now it is defined as. Capacitance of a conductor is defined as Q means amount of charge added to the conductor divided by P means rises in its potential. Here the capacitance of a conductor is defined as capacitance of a conductor is defined as the ratio of charge added to the system or charge added to the conductor. The ratio of charge added to the conductor through that rises in its potential rises in its potential is called capacitance of a conductor capacitance of a conductor it is the ratio of charge added to the conductor to the rises in its potential is called capacitance of a conductor capacitance of a conductor the capacitance of a conductor, the assign of capacitance of this conductor is C is equal to the assign of charge is Coulomb. The assign of potential is volt. Coulomb per volt. Coulomb per volt. Capacitance of a conductor. When I add certain amount of charge to the conductor, the potential is rises in this conductor. Here, the charge is directly proportional to potential and the charge is equal to C into V. C is the constant of proportionality or it is the constant of capacitance of a conductor. Then capacitance of a conductor is equal to Q divided by V. Then it is defined as, it is the ratio of charge added to the conductor to its, its rise in its potential. Rise in its potential is called capacitance of a conductor. It is a scalar quantity, it's having only magnitude but not direction. That's why it is called scalar quantity. Here, capacitance of a conductor, it is defined as the amount of charge added to the conductor. The ratio of amount of charge added to the conductor to it, its rise in its potential is called capacitance of a conductor. Suppose if I put if Q is equal to 1 coulomb and P is equal to 1 volt, then C is equal to C is equal to C is equal to you know the formula Q divided by V. If I put Q is equal to 1 coulomb and V is equal to 1 volt, we get C is equal to this is capacitance of a capacitor C is equal to 
वन फैरर c इज इक्वल टू वन फैरर c इज इक्वल टू वन फैरर फैरर इज द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ कैपेसिटर और कैपेसिटेंस एस आई यूनिट ऑफ कैपेसिटर द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ कैपेसिटर इज ए फैरर एंड द सर्क्यूट सिंबल ऑफ दिस कैपेसिटर इज लाइक दिस here this is the circuit symbol of the capacitor here if q is 1 coulomb v is 1 volt c is equal to q divided by v then c is equal to 1 farad then 1 farad is defined as the sign of capacitor is 1 farad 1 farad is defined as 1 coulomb of charge if 1 coulomb of charge is added to the conductor 1 coulomb of charge is added to the conductor That potential is increases through a one volt. That potential is increases through a one volt. Then it is called one farad. One farad is defined as one coulomb of charge is added to the conductor. It rises through a one volt its potential. Then it is called one farad. It is independent of its charge and its potential. If the charge is increases, potential energy is. potential electric potential is also increases if the charge is decreases the potential is also decreases that's why it's a independent of its charge and its potential on what factors capacitance of a conductor does not depends on what factor capacitance of a conductor does not depends here it does not depends on the charge and its potential here one farad is defined as it is the when one coulomb of charge added to the conductor it rises to a 1 volt of its electric potential then it is said to be 1 farad so 1 farad is the it is the largest unit of the capacitor 1 farad is the largest unit of the capacitor and smallest unit of the capacitor or 1 milli farad 1 milli farad is 10 to the power of -3 farad and 1 microfarad 1 microfarad means 10 to the power of -6 farad and 1 nanofarad 1 nanofarad means 10 to the power of -9 farad and 1 picofarad it is equal to 10 to the power of -12 farad 1 farad it is the largest unit of the capacitor 1 farad means 1 coulomb of charge is added to the system the ratio of 1 coulomb of charge added to the system to the 1 volt of its electric potential is increases then it is said to be 1 farad here the capacitance of a conductor capacitance of a conductor capacitance of a conductor it is the ratio of charge added to the conductor to its rise in its potential it is called capacitance of a conductor the si unit of capacitor or capacitance is farad the circuit symbol of this capacitor is like this and here the si unit of capacitor is farad it is a scalar quantity this is the largest unit and smallest units of the capacitor or 1 milli milli means 10 to the power of minus 3 farad 1 microfarad means 10 to the power of minus 6 farad 1 nanofarad is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 Farad one pico farad is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 farad. This is about introduction about capacitor and capacitors. Thank you.